71. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show right here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Basil also has an outstanding newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN, right in the newsletters. You'll see it on the left-hand side, the second one down. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 11 archives out there. You can go through all the archives. So you're going to get a great newsletter. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You have all the archives. You'll know exactly how Basil rides this wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, we've got, what's going on is we've got a tsunami here. Well, we've got one of those Navarre uh, Portuguese uh, <laughs> tidal waves, 100 foot high, high, and we're going to see what happens next. I see. Okay. Yeah. So Let's rock I, and roll. Yes. Yeah, so on the left side, I've got the daily chart and the weekly chart of the Dow. In the middle is the weekly chart. On the right is the monthly. Let me just have a drink of water here. There we go. We got them now, Basil. Yep. Oh, you do have them. Okay, yes. good. Um, so within that context, we've got 39,282 was the high on the 23rd of February. A couple of days later, we went short, and we've been short. Now, we've been along for a long time, not changing that position at all. This is a trading position. And one of the things I was looking at was there's a, a deterioration in some of the technical, <clears throat> but basically what we were looking at in the Dow is this, for instance, today, micro, which Microsoft is down very sharply, down 13 points. And we've been along Microsoft from, uh, I think it was October the 31st of 338. Um, and uh, we took, we have trading positions and, and uh, different very short-term things as well as the core position. But we did take off some of it at uh, just off the high, which was at, let me just go through this right now, at 420.82 and at 420.24. We took some off, and I said to subscribers, you must expect that Microsoft's going to be in this choppy range, uh, basically in this rectangle formation between about the 418 level and the three, uh, about 396. And you even have to expect that at some point after such a spectacular move, you can see the weekly chart, the 9-3 moving average is still very strong. You've got to expect some divergence uh, between some of the very best the leaders like in the semiconductors and Microsoft. And so to go with that, we've got a couple of stocks. For instance, our Bank of America, we're waiting for this leg D. We finally got this leg D in the Chapman wave in D, that fourth highest peak is where you, you're a little bit cautious because other things can happen there. But that goes together with AIQ, which is essentially the um, global ex artificial intelligence. Made a high of 33,045 back in November of 2021. Plummets down to 1801, and here it is testing the high of, at 33.96, just 50 cents away from the all-time high uh, back in November of 2021. So you got to expect that there's some resistance. Now, one of the techniques that I have webinars on, I discuss a lot, show my subscribers, is a, a technique I developed years ago. There's this little mini channel right here, and the channel is two parallel lines, but in this case, it isn't wide. It's a narrow channel, and I call that the Chapman Wave inside track repellent propellant zone. Yes. And look how many times the Dow went right to that level and couldn't pierce it. And we've got your peak G right here. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the ARQ. It's the same technique. This inside track. I wanted to show you in the in the Dow because it's also pertinent to the S and P. So here's the Dow. There's the inside track repellent zone. Peak E comes down from the 39282 level. Right now we're down 514. And we've taken out what was the inside track support zone. So this just tells me now we've got to look. The tide has changed in the short term. Tide is coming down. We have to look for the troughs on the left. Look at the S&P. The S&P, same thing. There's the Chapman Wave inside track. Look how it just couldn't get out of that resistance. I, I, I always find this just amazing. How does the chart know? I don't know, but right. here it is. It, it, it just got repelled. And today you got... From the tiny little doji candle of 5140.33, the high of yesterday, look at this. We're right down to the 
14 period exponential moving average. So this will be the trend line we're watching very closely here this week. I'd say below 5,028, there's a problem. So on my show for some time, and I've been doing this, I can't say for years, it's actually decades, I've followed round numbers. And um, I can't believe that in, in an in, index, which is 500 stocks, this is the RSP, this is the S&P equal weight ETFs, so all 500 stocks, but they're, all, they're, not, they're equal weighted. Okay. You've, you've got a, what I call a chat wave two bar reversal from the high of yesterday to the high of today. It's just pennies. It went uh, 164.70, but what did it do? It made a round number at the uh, at the open uh, yesterday. Now look at this. Today it's got, it's at 164.67, a couple of cents away from that all time high. So I'm watching this closely. This two bar reversal, Chapman wave red, Roman candle. I talk about that on my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock. The, the um, here we go. This is a, a inverted red Roman candle. When there's a long wick. And the body at the top, halfway from the bottom to the top, that's that's the same candle. Yeah, it's the same thing, but upside down. And that just says if there are two sessions with a close underneath whatever today's low is, that says you're probably going down to the next level of support. But the most important thing is we just missed going short the uh, semiconductors this morning. I spoke about that um, uh, equal weight having a round number. I mean, how do you get a round number when you've got 500 stocks? But look at this. This is the SMHs. They had a 227.13 all-time high yesterday with a tiny doji candle, and it had a round number of 224 open. And look at this today. It's down 5.6. It's above this inside track uh, repellent zone. It becomes a propellant zone. That means if you get towards the 213 level where the green nine period moving average is, now you can start to see a turn. What I've been saying on my show is what I'm anticipating is that the selling comes from nowhere. There's just no more buyers. And if that's the case, then you'll just get this concerted sudden sell off day off the day for about two, three days. If that happens, then I think we've made a short term top in the SMHs, and that's going to be really important. Um, I'm watching this very closely because, we, as I say, we, we are short the Dow. Um, I want to get short the other indices or, or different stocks. I think we, we right here are ready for some kind of a pullback. Um, but the technicals in the weekly charts are still really strong. So this will be a short term, sudden profit taking. And you know, profit taking sometimes just comes out of nowhere. There's no more buyers. And all of a sudden, you can see that in the Bitcoin today. I mean, what a turnaround this is. Leg F uh, makes not an all time high. It's a big number, there's no doubt. It's a big number, and, yeah. And listen, folks, okay, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters, you'll see it in the second one down. Hit that baby and you're off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks, Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow's off 511, Nasdaq's off 333, S&P's are off 71. Come back with Dan Man, Mr. Timberwood.